हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू बाइजूज एग्जाम प्रेप होप यू गाइज आर फाइन सो गाइज There is a good news for each and every one of you as Odisha Hydro Power Corporation Limited has released its notification for the post of graduate engineer trainee through GATE 2023 scorecard. Yes, so there is another vacancy in line of your GATE 2023 scorecard. So let's have a detailed look on the notification quickly. So come on, guys, let's start. Talking about the notification, so you guys can see that here, graduate engineer trainee, as I already told you, it's the post. Talking about the date of online submission, basically two things are given to you. Start date for submission of application in offline mode is from 1st of August. Last date is on 31st of August. Talking about next, it has told about what is Odisha Hydro Power Corporation India Limited. It is a certified gold rated state public sector undertaking. Okay, so this is public sector undertaking company. Talking about next, it has major projects, renewable energy. So basically, multiple projects are going on in this sector. Talking about the vacancies, which is very important for us. So for electrical, we have total 27 vacancies. Civil, we have three vacancies. Mechanical, we have again three vacancies. Instrumentation and control, three vacancies. And information technology, two vacancies. Okay, so these are the vacancies which we have. Next, talking about uh, the position which will be allotted to you. So here, the stipend which will be paid to you will be 50,000. Okay, and after you have completed the training period, the amount or basically the designation, first of all, which will be allotted to you will be E3. Talking about the pay scale, it will be from 56,100 to 177,500. And let me tell you, the basic pay which you will be getting here is exactly same as you get for the post of Indian Engineering Services. Okay, so the pay scale is same the moment you complete your one year of uh, training period. So everything else is given to you, medical allowances and additional amount, everything is given to you here. Okay, remote allowances, see it's been men uh, mentioned here medical allowances and everything is mentioned and see initially during tra training period only 50,000 but after that basic pay, DRA, HRA, all the other benefits which is being uh, admissible as per OHPC rules will be allotted to you. Talking about the training as I told you training will be one year and when you complete it then of course then of course what then of course you will be getting that basic pay of 56,100. Talking about see there will be an agreement for three years minimum three years of period in between between if you think that you'll be leaving the company then you have to pay the bond amount if you live during training first year 2 lakh 16 thousand you have to pay if after that after training you will be having a probation period so if you leave in the second year you have to pay 1 lakh 50 thousand as the bond amount and third year you have to pay 90 thousand this is because the company has invested in you in your training purposes and all so you have to pay the bond amount so this bond you have to sign it for sure talking about uh, the main uh, major qualifications apart from gate scorecard you need to have a full-time degree in this respective uh, branches okay plus here it has mentioned minimum 60 percent marks and minimum 50 percent marks in aggregate so these are the things which is generally common for everywhere okay information technology and all We're talking about last is the age limit age limit is 21 years minimum and maximum it can go by 38 years so this is the thing and age relaxation will be there depending upon the category. So this is all which has been mentioned and you can ch check it out. I'll attach the PDF also in the comment section so that if you have any doubts you can comment me on the comment section or you can join my telegram group civil by Richa Gupta and you can tag me there. Interviews and all talking about so see candidates will be shortlisted. Uh, on the basis of the GATE scorecard, there will be no personal uh, interview. GATE score of 2022 or prior is not valid. So the best part is there is no interview. So shortlisting of the candidates will be based on only on scorecard. Okay, and after that document verifications will be there. That's it. And more or less you can have medical. Uh, that's it. Okay, so nothing interview, no more uh, other things will be there. Only your GATE 2023 scorecard and document verification is more than sufficient. Okay, so this is the whole information which is being mentioned for the minor uh, things which are the uh, basically you have to supply the documents, certificates being mentioned. You can read in detail and if you have any doubts, do let me know. Okay, so that's all for today guys. Take care of yourself and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do so. Thank you.